Hello children, in this video we will be doing direct and indirect objects in English grammar. So in order to know what is direct and indirect object, we first need to understand what a sentence is. A sentence is a group of words arranged in an order to make a sensible sentence. So if a sentence is incomplete, we feel that there is something that is missing in that sentence. So a sentence always consists of a subject and a verb. These two things are always there in a sentence. The verb which is present in the sentence may be transitive or an intransitive verb. So the transitive verbs need an object to add meaning to the sentence. Always remember this. Whereas intransitive verbs do not need an object. So in a sentence we have subject and a verb. Okay. So now in the verb we have one is transitive and intransitive. So where does direct and indirect objects lie? Direct and indirect objects are always with the transitive verb. You all can see that given below. Now let's see and understand what are direct and indirect objects. The direct object is the person. Okay, It is referred to a person or a thing that is affected by the subject's action. So, for example, we have the first sentence. The boy kicked the ball. So, children, in this sentence, you can see the underlined words. The boy is the subject. Kicked is the verb. Okay. So, just beside it, we have the ball. What did the boy kick? The boy kicked the ball. So, the ball is an object. What type of an object? It is a direct object. Why is it a direct object? Because the action is being transferred. Okay, It is affected by the subject's action. That is why... This is a direct object. Let's see the second sentence. The boy hit me. The boy is the subject. Hit is an action which is a verb. Me is an object. Similar to the first sentence, this also is a direct object. Why? Because it is affected by the subject's action. So, always remember, a direct object is the receiver of the action. It can be a noun or a pronoun. And it answers to the question, what or whom. Now, let's see what is an indirect object. An indirect object is normally a person who receives something, okay, an action which is being received. For example, we have the third example, the third sentence. The boy passed me the ball. In this sentence, the boy is the subject. Passed is an action word, which is a verb. Me is the indirect object. Whereas, the ball is the direct object. So, me is an indirect object. Why? Because here something is being received. Okay, me. And the ball is a direct object. Why? Because the subject is affected. Okay, the subject's action. It is affected by the subject's action. So, always remember... Indirect object refers to a person or a thing. Okay, it refers to a person 
or a thing whereas direct object is the receiver of the action indirect object can be a noun or a pronoun similar to direct object the only thing you need to remember in these two is that direct object is a receiver of the action whereas indirect object is the person or a thing on whom the action is being done so with this we conclude with the explanation for direct and indirect object thank you